time. Grace, good pickup by Impunity, but in exchange of that, Kestrel will be on Infamous. But the Crawl being taken out of the table. So they just don't want to deal with the Crawl right now as, I mean, although this this is a first pick Kestrel and it's kind of susceptible to these dive type of heroes and they think Crawl is one of the ones that they fear the most and they just don't want to deal with that. And at the same time, at least if, if Impunity goes for another counter, they can actually just put this Kestrel on a different roll if ever. This can actually go for either a CP jungle Kestrel or a we even a weapon Kestrel. It can go either way. We've seen it happen once before. It can happen again. Catherine, will you pick a uh, run? Rather Scarf than we'll is open. Band out here for Impunity. And like you said, Scarf is open. I wonder if they're going to be taking a Scarf first game. They already drafted this in game number two. Grace first draft, Scarf and the Batiste. And they won this again. It's Popeyes. And it worked wonders for them. With Lance infamous already being settled for that one and they're comfy with that we saw clowny he was phenomenal during game number one on that lance and i feel like it's one of those comfort picks idris taken out early so let's see what else is going to be their replacement in this composition they're preempting the batiste pick but batiste works so horribly wrong against a black feather and a scarf so Something else in the jungle might be uh, might be their pick of the letter here. I wonder. Well, Uni does play a Taka, so maybe a Taka as well in the jungle could be good. I'm looking at I'm looking at their previous picks from yesterday, oh, but Samuel okay. they played this yesterday. It fits with them. It has a consistent. They have a safe late game. They're going to be settled with that. Their early game is also settled because. Kestrel lands good poke. They've got the right amount of CCs mid game wise. Once level six comes, they've got they've got the oblivion coming from the Samuel. So, what else can you pick off from the composition that they're drafting? Hmm, it's safe. Ke uh, the pick from Infamous is safe. I mean, there's gonna be the weapon power Kestrel in the lane, which is with this kind of composition from Impunity, it's not really really gonna die since there's the defense from the Lance. And then Samuel, as a jungler against a Black Feather, won't be as heavily ganked as uh, as compared to different uh, junglers. So what do you think? Like, in terms of just the compositions, who do you feel has the better up here, Impunity or Infamous? I wanna, based on draft, definitely I have to hand it to Impunity for a reason of getting the scarf is more of a immense comfort composition for them. So, and they know how to play around this well. There's the safety of the grace. They've got a really good dive from their melee black feather. And we've seen how black feather performed in this tournament already. So with that sort of balance that they have, they've got the damage mitigation, they've got the heals, They've got nice burst mid-game comms, good consistent damage, nice wave clear, they've got it all. Oh, what? It's a Koshka for spaghetti. Oh wait, the, the picks are... Different. Different. Okay, I am a little bit confused. <laughs> that is so confusing. Oh, okay, this is just testing. All right, never mind. All right. This is, they're just testing something, guys. But okay. the, the draft in the picks is true. So, yeah. uh, Kestrel, really one of the favorable picks here for Infamous. And I think, I guess in, in a way, they don't, like this is the finals game. In a best of five like this, you don't want to bring out your big guns. Hence, the hence I guess, the Celeste as well. So, they didn't want to use it. It wasn't actually banned, this best of five. And they just still didn't decide to go for it. Because they could have either gone for that uh, Kestrel, Kestrel Celeste combo that we've been seeing time and time again. It's really good. And then if you uh, at least pair it up with a frontline, maybe even a Glaive, uh, wait, not a Glaive, maybe a Finn or a Batiste Captain, it could be good. There's a lot of poke there. There's a lot of uh, counter potential as well. What do you think? Um, basically, they're sticking to their guns. I feel like it's also, a the Scarf pick is also an effective pick from Infamous, so they're basically like taking something away slash taking something that they're comfy comfy with. And if I look at the, the draft from last time, 
They played this Kestrel Batiste Scarf combo. The triple, the triple, you know, I'm gonna hurt you so much that you can't be able, you won't be able to react. Plus the disengage offered by the Fearsome Shade, which they used it against Elite Eight yesterday at game number three. And it worked out, worked out pretty well for them, except that during their late game, they couldn't, you know, find the right decision making for themselves. But I guess it's a it's a deny earlier coming from the draft and for the Black Feather per performance wise in the tournament as a hero it fits so well it fits aggressive teams Impunity and Infamous for me are both aggressive Infamous is early game I like how the way I like the way they play I like their offensive or aggressive rotations especially they really want to they really want to keep choking the jungler of the enemy side but yeah let's head on to our very first game in the grand finals impunity versus infamous into the house young fold we go as it's gonna be blue city in the lane here with the scarf jungle def q on the black feather but both of them will actually go for this fast push so this is what we're talking about since ever from yesterday impunity's one uh, one strat, which is to go for that sentry rotation, push the lane fast, go to the jungle, take out the camps of Infamous, and then immediately go for the Elder Treant when four minutes, when it hits that four minute mark, take out that uh, crystal sentry and repeat. So what Infamous is doing right now is they're trying to at least fast push it, but I don't think they have the fastest of wave clears here, so they're going to have a little bit of a hard time against this type of strategy. They're going to be a little bit more patient this time around as it is really gonna be painful they have to deal with that scar from black feather early on to the game level two power spike already for themselves i'm not expecting too much fights uh compare doing the early phases of the game in comparison to what we've been seeing so far so i really expect them to a little bit to be a little bit more passive both of these teams find the right opportunity we've seen that slow starts before look at them confidently rotating they're gonna be finding the Kestrel, or rather the Samuel here, and they don't get a steal. Oh wow, so that's the counter of Infamous right now. Get Vision, have two heroes, actually even three heroes that have poked through the walls, and just go for the steal, and that's what they're doing right now. This is smart, and at the same time, if they try to dive, a level two Samuel is very scared to deal with, because you saw how much damage he dealt with there, with the help from a little bit of the Githian wall from Clowny. They decide to go in with a benediction, but the thing is, with what they're doing, they want to pressure Uni. Nicely done. They're going to keep up with the pressure. They're going to bump into Quadrivois, and it hits Kestrel, just eliminates the retreat route of Impunity. And here comes another Impale. Blue City is just trying to land in the goop, land in the slow, land in the auto, but it's not going to be enough as Clowny is going to survive the onslaught. Wow. Eight. HP on Clowny, even a flick into even to the flick onto his armor would have killed him. That was very clutch from Impunity, and this is why they're the ones who are pro, pro players. You saw that you know the answer to this was fast clear. What Infamous did is okay. We're gonna beat you at own game. At your own game, we're gonna get last hits better than you and we're gonna have a lance so that it can initiate well and then we have the damage we have the poke from the sound will in the jungle which is easier for him because again level two spike and it worked wow. it worked it worked wonders the thing about that rotation is that you have to make sure that you're gonna keep pressuring uni and it has to work what infamous did because if you leave if you do that three-man rotation that leaves spaghetti free in lane Free to farm, free to push, free to free to siege. And then with that, it gives more control over the laning part of the map. Infamous, what they did was, I'll hold that thought, we might see something. The damage on to Uni, there is the Holy Nova, he has to back away, he does go down. But that is the one for one. Infamous is not going to let them escape with a kill, but still good initiations by Impunity. Looking at the CS, 20, 12 to Blue City on the 18 of uni so he's really getting you know the advantage in the jungle exactly they reply to the three-man rotation to the jungle by getting clowny and uni good impale towards the towards the wall for the Ginthian wall and then kestrel just blocked their escape path 
and finish off a target. That type of rotation from Impunity can easily be punished if they're not careful. I understand they do have the vision from earlier, but they have to be really wary of these plays. Impale misses, but then again, Infamous has the, has the space to keep moving forward. All right, so I'm gonna say something after this forced push from, from Infamous. They're trying to really bait it out. They got a lot of siege potential, even though they don't have the insane amount of wave clear, I feel. They can still clear it fast enough with a three-man rotation and then just try to go for the siege with the Kestrel. And as Impunity try to push them out, oh, one shot, one kill. Ooh. Damage onto Blue City, though. It's a very, very squishy scarf. You can see that the level gap is apparent. Level four already onto Clowny, Spaghetti already level six. One shot, one kill. We'll definitely push the push Blue City away, which means the wave player is gone. I'm pretty sure Black Feather won't take the risk of getting auto auto attacks on himself. And no steals for you, buddy. But in the meantime, they do get a turret for themselves. And I feel like that's those small little victories that will eventually lead into more map control and definitely more space for Infamous to work with, with these rotations. And meanwhile, Impunity this time around, it's okay. Especially if Cordova already reaches level 6. Divine Intervention, definitely more safety for Death Q to dive into the backline of Infamous. But Spaghetti, I mean, uh, we, already ha we already have Clowny into the equation. But Spaghetti already is the player, the type of player that is able to use active camo in a very smart way whenever these clashes happen. All right, so the other thing, yeah, you're actually absolutely right about that. His positioning with the Kestrel, especially even though he's on a weapon power uh, Kest uh, Kestrel who doesn't have really the best active camo duration, he is able to, you know, use that to full effect. The thing here that I noticed from Infamous is once Impunity actually doesn't have any members in the jungle, uh, where there is going to be a fight, there's going to be the one shot, one kill, and it's going to deal a good amount of damage onto Quart of Wads. Defki already using the Rose defense to get out of the fight just now, as in Infamous is on that warpath. Again, just to finish what I said, Infamous, whenever they see Impunity not in the lane, they hard push it and force Impunity to deal with him. But the problem is, Impunity's composition cannot deal with him at the moment. They do have the Grace, they do have the Black Feather, but against the Lance, it's really not enough. Whoa, was that a steal? Impale is gonna miss. Are they gonna be aiming for more? Looks like they're gonna be respecting that and back away for now as Spaghetti is still full HP and Blue City and Cote d'Ivoire. The thing about the composition is that it is too dangerous to do two man rotations or one man to actually try to scout and stuff like yeah. that. So they always rotate as a three. Infamous does the same, but their kit is perfect yeah, for better. a paired up duo rotation. Kestrel Lance or a, or a Uni or a rather a Lance and a Samuel. So the CC that they need for the initiate is perfect with and it synergizes with spaghetti and uni as well so level six and everybody else is the they're going to be staying right there waiting one shot one kill they were Won't spotted hit out they know that the impunity was actually hiding on top brush interesting there goof being dropped spitfire is being laid out as well impale miss gonna hit the turret right there glimmer shots being Active camel being used by Spaghetti, gaining repositioning. There's the Dragon's Breath. Here it is. It's going to be burning them a little bit alive, but the heals come out from the Grace and Impunity. Or rather, the heals will come out from the Grace and counter out the damage from Infamous while that burn is going to be starting to deal a whole chunk of hurt onto Infamous. They do lose Uni, but aside from that, not too much. They might actually go for the gold bind and get a bit more advantage. Guess that's going to be a no for now. And Infamous, even though they lost one, still have around three to 4,000 gold lead. That was the perfect Divine Intervention. The thing is, the Divine Intervention can definitely be challenged or canceled by Clowny here. So if he lands a very good CC on towards while the Court of Law is channeling, then it's definitely something Infamous can work around with during the during these team fights here for Impunity and Infamous. 
itemization wise eve of harvest being brought up bought already by uni for a couple of minutes already so that's why i mean even though he was blown up if the fight actually elongates he will be able to sustain it's just that impunity had the right mindset to actually keep bursting him down with the scarf with the grace while def q was being a distraction as he tried to go aggressive onto spaghetti nice on point here from impunity and now they're setting it up huge dragon's breath once again they get the shutdown onto the castro and uni is trying to go for that kiting but it's not really going to be enough and they get the second kill as they look to push towards the lane Beautiful, beautiful play there by Impunity. Patience is a virtue, is that what they're showing at this point? Eliminating the two damage dealers from the side of Infamous, that will equate into a gold mine. One shot, one kill, will there be a steal? Looks like no. Clowny, on the other hand, tried his best as well. The tricky part of that is, it's there's a lot of safety for Impunity's side. And meanwhile, the burst coming from DefQ is definitely enough if they get the initial damage yeah. being laid on the onto the table. Thing is, there's not much sustain going around for Infamous in comparison to, you know, having a grace in your team. There's not much defense. You're going to be relying on the peel of Lance, but if that does not happen, DefQ is going to just ignore the front line into Spaghetti, and then with the back lane dam damage of the Scarf, it's really one of those things where even though you want to focus Def Q, the damage has already been done and you cannot retaliate anymore. Anymore. That's true. I mean, the thing here that actually made it so easy for Infinity to win that one was they, Infamous here should be the team to try and just kite and poke, but they're also trying to face front against Infinity because they have the Lance and the Samuel who doesn't have the best in terms of range and because of that they're left into a very Whoa. weird situation because black feather is actually being a better i would guess secondary frontline than just samuel is with his oh. lance oblivion being used let's see the Ginthian wall over to the black feather for the stun turret has been destroyed already as kestrel is gonna be destroying that while everybody was busy at the jungle side spaghetti doing a sneaky structure kill Smart decisions. I mean, if they can't fight him in the team fight, well, at least Impunity, they have to be three man to be able to maximize their team fight prowess. But Infamous spotting that out, say that, okay, you know what, Spaghetti, you are on this weapon power, Kestrel. Your pushing potential with the double Tyrant's Monocle and the Sorrow Blade is strong. Just go for it. We're going to try to delay them as much as possible. Do that. They did it. And now. They still have an advantage, even though Impunity is looking to be scary as hell in the team fights. Definitely, as they're going to be focusing on the farm. If you look at the CS, we've got 133 already on the Kestrel, and then 88 on the Black Feather, and 68 only on the Scarf. So they're really taking advantage of these three man rotations, leaving the lane unchecked. So Spaghetti's going to be continuing that. And once the item spikes are achieved, then Spaghetti will definitely have a better, a comfortable time. Active camo being used, knows and spots the grace. It's going to be a little bit scary here. Githian Wall Ooh. was used. There is the two-man impale, but it was blocked perfectly here by Impunity. Though at the same time, you saw them forcing a bit too much, and they got into the danger zone. That is infamous. They back away. They don't. They know that they couldn't take the fight just yet because Def Q and Blue City would be a bit too overextended in the fight, so they didn't want to touch it just yet. And Infamous there wins another skirmish. And we'll see though, they're gonna be a little bit more patient. They've been waiting for Impunity to keep making these aggressive stances as Clowny will find the opportunity as well because Kestrel is ahead already in terms of farm and Infamous is in a comfy spot to do this three-man rotation and make Impunity or force Impunity to find them as flares are going up here and there. Good poke. Again, they can keep poking at them and then they can force and initiate from them, which is and now. Clowny is taking such a bit of a beating, but at the same time, Spaghetti <gasps> is starting to Ooh. ramp up Quart of War. <gasps> oh my God. The crossroads, oh, the oblivion into the sideline, that oh. was 
Wow, that was great from Impunity. Cordevoir dodging the Oblivion and even healing himself up with the intervention. I don't know if you saw the ultimate of the Samuel, but that was just good timing. Good timing indeed. Nice try coming from Infamous, but that is a 24 second cooldown divine intervention, which means a small window despite Oblivion not being open. That means no one can be saved in that short span of time. Action. They have the pokes. Spaghetti is going to be dealing structure damage towards the turret, and they will be roaming around this jungle side, take whatever they can yeah. as the Crystal Sentry will be joining in the battle. is going to be chunked down into half health. Players are going out here and there as Grace will try to intercept them. Yeah, actually, there was an echo for the Grace there, so even if Infamous went in, there's still the usage of that one Divine Intervention, but uh, more so than not, you would want at least for, for the whole cooldown, so you can Divine Intervention, Echo, and then Divine Intervention, which would make it a bit more optimal in terms of, you know, using two ultimates, or at least the Echo item. But like you said, Infamous, they got the rain, they got the jungle, and, well, at least they choked out a little bit of the, the currency here for Infamous, or rather for Impunity, where they can actually farm. Although, this is a stalemate. Kraken has spawned, and this might be the determining factor for both of these teams, because I feel like Impunity are not out of it just yet, even with a 4,000 gold lead. Their composition doesn't feel like it is in a 4,000 dis uh, gold disadvantage. Exactly. Three turrets left for Impunity. They've been chunking that down, but they're going to be started in a fight. Here they go. There's Quadriva getting stunned by the Ganthian wall. Nice Crucible. Dragon Brand's going to burn everybody from Infamous. But is that enough? Black Feather already has fallen into battle. And Quadriva and Blue City will try to run away from Clowny. Okay, this is the cancer that I've seen happen from some of these Scarf players. But before that, it's still going to be the 2v2 in the jungle. They found out Blue City. Ooh. I believe there is a damage enough to be able to shut down the Scarf in Cordevoir. Are they really going to chase them down? That's the question here. We'll see as they've been microing around. Benediction charging into Clowny is super low at this point. And Uni's going to be landing in the hits. Flares here and there. But they decide to just back away as Black Feather. Death Q already back in action. All right. So there was actually two mis uh, one mistake from both of these teams on the team fight. One of those was they caught out Spaghetti in the open because you saw it in their positioning. Uh, Spaghetti was into the front line. In right behind him was Clowny, and behind that was Uni, who was trying to go for the poke. That could have been Impunity winning the fight straight off the bat, but Blue City, for the for the thought of me, charged up his Dragon's Breath, and with that ch with that channel time that was being charged up from the ultimate, they got the kill onto Defki, who was trying so hard to dive into the backline or even spot out uh, spot out Spaghetti. That could have been, in my opinion, Impunity's win, but a little bit of I guess the the miss pick of the skill kind of left them you know toe to toe with the trades definitely as the time duration to actually channel that in benediction on towards spaghetti ginty and well for the deny as a lot of folks with the glimmer shots impale one shot one kill chunks down death queue oh. take note there is still nice crucible just to deny that oblivion active camo no pokes there but nice try coming from infamous there as they're going to be chunking down the kraken this time around echo already being used correct yes so there still is that one divine intervention for the grace no reflex blocks for blue city as well as death q and is that crucible on cooldown i don't think it is i think it is so they can use that but no more reflex blocks so if clowny is pretty good on his timing with that githian wall or impale he can actually stun impunity better but at the same time, Infamous right here, they're trying to be as careful as possible because this uh, Spaghetti is positioning not the best. He's been dealing the good damage, but his positioning isn't safe for him. So they're trying to be uh, as cautious as possible. But for now, they will decide for the better and try to crack in later on rather than now. Learning from their previous matchup against Elite 8, that was insane. But now Impunity, they're going to be playing the patient game as Infamous is going to aim for the Crystal Sentry. Grace spots this and she's like, nope, I'm getting out of here. One more life remaining on that Crystal Sentry as well before it, well, before it dies. And I believe it empowers the minions here to actually push better for uh, Infamous. Clowny spawning out Quad of War. And you can hear <laughs> Uni just putting out the pellets. Green pellets. 
Green pellets indeed, as Defty is going to be charging in on towards Spaghetti. He's going to regain his position. Dragon Breath being charged in, and that is Defty being eliminated, impaled towards Blue City. They're going to be finishing this off as Divine Intervention channels through Blue City just for the safety as Uni we chase. But let's focus on the Scarf. He's going to be isolated. You saw how much damage the Scarf does if you just let him scoop fire it up. Why? Charge the dragon's breath again. This is what this is the sickness right now of impunity. Charge it with death Q. Blue City will well or, or die with death Q. Blue City will charge up and then he won't deal enough damage. They even spot Quart of War as he was Okay, right, so the only reason why he would be there was to maybe try to get the last hit on the Kraken and they spot him out. Infamous yeah. is reading impunity like a book. Definitely, they're not gonna let you know steals happen from the series of Elite Eight. That's not gonna happen anymore. And that's 20 seconds. That's that's a small time frame window for Infamous to keep pushing, to keep these carries unsafe. As 10 seconds, yes, Quadivar will be back in time. Kraken is marching. One shot, one kill. Will be activated here. We'll see. Wow. Damage from the Kraken, just like slam it, jam it, and pop it. But now, here comes the fight. There's gonna be an initiation, but look at this. He's so far. The Dragon's Breath is really doing little bits of damage, but Def Q finally finds Spaghetti in the midst of it all. Clowny will be left, but at the same time, you gotta check out that Kraken who has been battering down onto the onto the crisp, the vein turret. One more shot could get that one, so that's still pretty good. That's only Spaghetti dead. Clowny should be able to combat roll out of this one. Yes, he will. And Impunity, they got Spaghetti, but they lost a turret. So it's, I think it's still a win for Infamous. Of course, it's a win for Infamous. Definitely, because we've seen this crack and take time and time again, force the enemy team that has to deal with the Kraken into a fight that, that they can take, but Infamous is just going to be playing the chase game, you know, chase us, spend time with us, invest on us, so that w you'll find out that you're tunneling, you're tunnel visioning towards us. Hey, I've seen this brush before. That was in the previous game. <laughs> but we'll see if they can find a target. Gintian Wall will stun three and stun two. Wow, he echoed for that second one as well. But there was no follow-up from Impunity. Ooh. Oh, here it is. Get the one again. This is a 3v3 MVP Sentry going in ham against every single one of them. Dragon's Breath, where the hell is Spaghetti? He needs to join in onto the fight because his teammates are going down. He's down, back down. He's no back freaking way. He's going to be breaking it down. He has to go back. But Spaghetti, oh, he's so dirty. End game. Number one taken by Infamous. Deep breath.